<laughs> yeah! That's so good! Oh my god! I got this little cup when I was in Cuba. It's a little espresso shot. Coffee. Yep, I'm still here in San Francisco and still under quarantine. I thought the first few days were bad, but it's gotten to a whole new level of boredom. But it's important to stay inside, so I have been. Well, for the most part, I've gone to a grocery store once or twice and out on a bike ride, you know, to get some fresh air. But I stayed away from other people and that's the important part. From what I've been seeing, the social distancing has actually been working. The fatality rate in the US has gone from three to 5% to just 1%, which could be due to people like being tested more, not just the old and the people with underlying health issues. But I like to think that it's a mixture of both. And this is way better to hear than just watching the news and they just tell you that the death count is going up and not that the fatality rate is going down. I mean, of course the death rate is going up because they're testing more people equals more positive results. But if you continue to listen to the news, you think that the apocalypse is upon us. But enough about COVID-19, let's get into the video, take some pictures. Today's theme is going to take us into some water. Well, me, not you. I'll be getting wet and possibly making a mess. No real sense in explaining the shots I'm about to attempt since you're about to see them. So let's get into it. All right, the first photo I wanna do I think I'm gonna use this as the backdrop and then set up right here. So let me do that now. Okay, so the attempt is gonna be um, taking a photo on this glass surface that'll create a reflection and dropping the lemon that we cut freshly from this lemon tree right here um, into the cup of water, creating a splash with a the nice background uh, blurred, but I think I might need some help with this one. I was getting some some test shots, and the the whole thing's like kind of leaning towards towards my right. Um, so the water you can see is kind of slanted in the cup. So I'm gonna try and adjust it with these uh, cardboard boxes. It's not pretty, but it's it it'll do. Okay, this is gonna be the first attempt. Hopefully, hopefully I can get on the first one. All right. One, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna have to try again. <laughs> One, two. I mean, I got, I got like the cup doing like a little. <laughs> One, two. Yes! <laughs> that was perfect. That's so good. Oh my God. That's a wrap. Three attempts and, and we're good. Got it. That's so good. So here we're going for a kind of portrait shot. Got the camera set up. I'll be standing back here with my hand reaching out and water basically being thrown at it. And the focus area is gonna be obviously the, the hand in the water. Um, hopefully I don't get too wet on this one. Okay, okay, okay. ready, ready, ready. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too early. I think that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> this right here is a Christmas tree. Um, that we had since December. We still have since December. It used to be green, believe it or not. Um, but it's been sitting out here for months and months and months. Like three months or something like that almost. But the idea with this one is going to be take a whole bunch of water. Throw it from like the side behind kind of. Um, and have it like just all splash. And then get a picture of the, the water coming through the tree. Um, I think this one's gonna be an interesting one. I don't know if it's gonna work out. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> well, it fell down. Two, three. What happened? I missed it. Can it even go through? No. Okay. Okay, there's this one single rose here 
and I'm gonna try and get like a almost raining picture with this colander filled with water coming down and and just get a picture of the of the rose with water falling on it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh no, it's I'm killing it. Okay, it was too much water. It was a lot of water. Ready, go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's moving so much. We got some bangers. Alright, this is a small backyard, but it served this purpose well and entertained me for the day during this quarantine. I gotta go throw these into Lightroom and then come back out and see the final results. Alright, that photo shoot was pretty fun. Got kind of wet in it but it was so worth it. Yeah, I think this kind of photography is pretty good for really anybody that has a backyard or even indoors, just take some water, throw it around and have fun with it. Um, but with that said, let's move on to the photos. First, I threw them into the Lightroom um, just to correct the, the photos a little bit and that went from this to this. Take a look. And then after that, the only ones that I put into Photoshop were the, the ones with the lemon in it, just to remove that metal bar. And I think they look much better without that. All right, so first off, we have the photo with the lemon that hit the side of the of the container right on the lip. And I thought it was pretty cool that I got the, the container like pretty much rotating on the bottom edge. But then after that, we got the lemons that hit the, the water like really nicely, made that huge splash. And thanks to that, the water then splashed on the table, making the cool like, water bubbles flying towards the camera um, and splashing against the, the glass surface, um, which I thought was pretty cool that, that I got all those little pieces of water just flying everywhere in the, in the air. So I really liked that photo. Um, it came out pretty easily, like three shots, and we got what we needed. That's not the same for the next one though. The next one we must have been going for like, I don't know, like 30, 40 minutes, um, and it would just seem like we were never gonna get the shot. You could see in this first shot, that I was just laughing because at first, the first time it was funny. But then as we continued, this next shot is just the disappointment in my face. Like you could just tell like how sad I am. Like we're, we're in this and we've taken so many tries and we just can't get it. But finally, finally, we got the results that I wanted and there goes the water through my hands, through the fingertips and it just dispersing and it looks amazing. It's a, it's a really cool effect that anybody could really do. All right, let's talk about the tree one. The tree one, not my favorite, to be honest. Um, it just didn't do what I wanted it to do and as much water that didn't go through the tree as I originally anticipated. And I guess this could also be due to the tree falling down, but I just didn't, I, I don't know, I didn't like it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay, but not not my favorite. Okay, and that poor rose. I was I was killing it. Look at look at this first photo and all the water that was just like coming down on it like it was like like a tsunami pouring rain on it. Um I just felt so bad for it. At the beginning of that first shot, I just poured so much water on it. But then after that, I kind of contained myself on the water pouring a little bit and got these pretty sick shots of the rose with the little droplets coming down on it and from, from behind. Yeah, so that photo shoot was really fun. Gave me a lot of creative ideas for the future um, that I could possibly do while this quarantine is, is still happening or maybe down the line. Um, I mean, the opposite to water is fire. So maybe there'll be a fire photography episode down the line. Let me know what you guys thought about these photos down below. Um, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time.